Hi. I was going to say good morning, but it's obviously not morning. It's nearly seven. Um, so I thought I'd just come and do a bit more stitching on here and have a bit of a chat for people who couldn't come this morning. Really? Jessie is dying to go out. And she wants her food, but I've already pushed play, so... She's just not going to get it now, is she? Maybe a little bit later. What a treat! <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I've already really done the instructions in the morning one, so there really isn't much to say about that. Like, I'm not going to teach you again, because I've already taught you before. So this is more just like a catch-up have a little chat, discuss. If you have any questions, then of course say. Um, so for this part, we're just gonna do four strands in a regular satin stitch. And I've chosen one darker color than the other one. So where is it? It's got broken, yeah. So like these are the colors next to each other. You can't really tell so much, but I think you'll be able to tell in here. So I've got a different color here and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So we just finished having dinner and I was feeling too lazy to cook. And David said, what about we get a McDonald's? because McDonald's here have been closed for a long time. And honestly, I don't think we've gotten a McDonald's since like January or February. So I said, let's do it. So that's what we had. I'm sure I will regret it later. Cause you know, like when you just don't eat that kind of food so often I got my embroidery stand at a thrift shop for five pounds, but you can look at um, Hawthorne Handmade if you're, do you know what? I always forget if they're in, I think they're in England. Yeah, or just search for embroidery stand, like a lap stand. Hi guys, lots of people joining now. I'm not gonna lie, like normally there's not a lot of people who join the lives because normally we do them so early in the morning. So there's that. So when people come, I'm like, yay, look at you guys, look, you're all here. So, like, if you'll have any questions, you can just type them in and I'll answer. Or if you just want to chat, that's cool, too. It's up to you, really. I've seen a couple people do the middle detail, and it looks so good. Like, so good. Oh, missed the live stream today. So glad to see you tonight. And then Echo Embroidery says, thanks for doing this. It's nice to be able to catch live because I live in the States. Yeah. Where in the States do you live? Because I know my mom lives in Ohio and she wakes up at like five o'clock sometimes just so that she can watch and get it done like in the morning. And I'm like, you're insane. That's too crazy. Hi, Melissa. Fancy nails. Ooh, where in Ohio are you? Wild salmon crafts. We're from Toledo. 
but we spend most of our time in Michigan. We've got a little lake house. Cleveland! Yeah, we've got a lake house in Michigan, so when I go for the summers, normally we spend like all of our time at the lake, and then we don't really go to Toledo very often. Oh, she says, I live on the East Coast and my cat usually gets me up at five to feed her, but then I fall back asleep after. <laughs> yup. Los Angeles here. Um, so Melissa, we didn't actually buy tickets or anything. We're just kind of playing it by ear. And then if they say that like it's safe, then we'll just buy a ticket and go. But to be honest, I really don't. Did you guys just hear my stomach just then? <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> I really don't think we're going to be able to go. <laughs> I've never been to Los Angeles. I think I went to the airport when I went to Hawaii when I was in high school. Or maybe it wasn't. I don't remember. I don't even remember what airport we went to. But either way, never, never been there. Oh, Dallas, Texas. I've caught a few of your lives because of insomnia, but I like this afternoon time. My uncle lives there and my aunt as well in Dallas. So we, we spent a Christmas there one time and I remember they had like an ice warning like obviously being from Ohio, like we get a lot of snow in the winter and they had just like a little bit of ice and everyone was like freaking out. Cause it was like, it was like 32 to 40 degrees, like, like fluctuating and people were like, Oh my gosh, there's going to be so much ice. And we were like, this is warm. We're like, not even gonna wear our jackets. <laughs> like it's not even that cold. <laughs> um, Okay, TMC Stone is in California too. Amanda says, are those two different shades of green or is that just the lighting? Uh, it's two different shades. I showed it earlier. I just wanted something a little bit different. Yeah, Casey says, we shut down with ice and snow. Yeah. And like, I remember them saying, like, it's not safe to drive and, like, you're not allowed to drive anywhere. And, like, we needed, like, milk or eggs or something. So we all walked to, like, a Rite Aid that was, like, a mile away. And we were, like, having the best time, like, no coats and, like, slipping on the ice and stuff. And we thought it was, like, so much fun. And everyone was like, this is serious weather, guys. Okay? This is serious. We were like, oh, don't feel that serious to us. It's just, we'd still have school. But, like, everything was shut down. Oh, Heather. Obi Heather Crafty is in Maryland. You guys must get, um, like, a lot of snow in Maryland as well. Like, being on the coast. But I don't really know because I've never been to Maryland either. I find like weather super fascinating. I'm just like, I'm weird. I think I'm gonna win a thread chicken. I think I might change the color of the middle part for this one as well, just to like, Mix it up. You know how some people say that your boobs are like, what's it, sisters, not twins, yeah? So like, they're a little bit different. Like one can be a little bit bigger or one can be a little bit longer or whatever. They're like, well, I'll even say this is like a cousin, not a twin, because I think this one's gonna be like even different. Not even a sister, it's gonna be like a cousin. Okay. Oh my gosh, this looks like the never-ending thread. I'm always so surprised how much you get to stitch with one long thread that doesn't look this long. 
<laughs> that's so true. <laughs> but to be fair, I do make my threads much longer than they should be. Um, so a lot of people say 18 inches and then do um, like a six inch, um, like from your needle, like tail, you know, when you like thread, thread it through the eye of the needle and then like hang down a little bit to do like a six inch tail and then do a 12 inch for the rest of it. Um, but that's just too short. And then other people say do like your forearm. And I just must have really short forearms because like uh, my forearm, like the thread would be so short. So like if that's it, yeah. Then that's all I would have from there to there. That's like nothing. <laughs> like you'd get like seven stitches with that and then you'd be like, well, got to get some more. That would just drive me nuts. Um, so this is four, four strands. So I just thought three would be too little and six would be too much. So I just settled on four. But like always, you could do more or less. It's totally up to you. And like all the instructions are in the video from this morning. So if you're like, oh, I don't know. I didn't hear that or like he got caught up or anything. And then I also did these, um, this like middle detail part on a different hoop so that you could see it a lot clearer because these stitches are quite small. If you look at them next to my fingernails, they're really tiny. Mm, it's probably good. Maybe one more. Just one more little one. Okay. They look, <coughs> they look like slugs, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just going to walk over so I can have a drink. Because <clears throat> I know that this um, microphone like picks up everything. But don't they look like slugs? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> like, I'll be back in just a minute. I know one day I had a um, straw. And I watched it back and I was like, oh, Tori, why did you do that? That sounds horrible. But sometimes you just have to have a drink, okay? I'm sorry. Especially when you're like essentially talking to yourself, you know, this whole time. Okay, let's find another color. So the first color I used was this one. Of course, oh, I didn't put a number. Yeah, it doesn't look like a slug. Okay, but like look how nice it looks on the back. Like if you continue the same way, that's why I show the thread saver um, method as well, because it's a lot of thread, you know, it's the com completely on the back, all stitched and then completely on the front, all stitched. So it's like double, double stitched. Like it does lay really well that way. Um, where sometimes if you do the thread saver method, it, like it can kind of lay a little bit differently, if you know what I mean. Yeah, a little bit weird. What about like a pink color? Or is that too Christmassy? Mm. What do we think? Should I go with that one? Or like a like this kind of brighter, which one? Top or bottom? They're more pink in real life than they are in the video. In the video, they're quite red. So I've already got yellow over there. So I thought maybe I wouldn't do. I should just be simple and just use the same one. But, you know, I just like to be, I'm going to do this one, I think. I think this one's gonna show pink like the brighter one I 
like straight up pink. Bottom, okay. I'm doing it. No more, no more suggestions. I'm doing it. So we're gonna do the same three strands like we did before. And this one's a bit tricksy, okay? So like, yeah, Mary, a sneaky extra bonus live. It's a bit of a tricky one, but I really hope that you'll try it. I think it'll look good. Let's see here. Hola. Okay. I'm going to try doing this straight down here and then going up and over and then ending here at this tip. So I'm going to try and go right up the middle like the original pattern did. So wish me luck. I have to make it quite thin in this part. Also, do you like the big scab on my hand? Ugh. I was putting all the stuff from the um, backyard, so I did see your comment, Marissa. Um, but I was putting all this stuff in from the backyard into a wheelbarrow, and the wheelbarrow handles, like, didn't have caps on them. Like, on the end, it was just, like, metal poles and totally banged my hand through the glove and everything. I was like, man, that's not going to be good. Later. But hey ho, you know? It happens. Okay, so far so good it looks like. I might have to make these a little bit smaller because they're going a little bit um, wide at the top. Can y'all see okay? Cause now my hands are like all up in the way. Um, but yeah, so I've just been waiting for like stuff to come and like to get everything like looking nice. We're doing, um, by the fence. We're putting some like big log sleepers. They're called like huge lo square logs, um, along the fence. And then we're going to fill them in with dirt and then we can like put some plants or flowers or something on there. So that'll be good, but that's not going to be until like July 19th, I think. Okay. So this happens sometimes. It's because I didn't put my needle down. So we're still working on it. Can you believe that? It's like the backyard project that never ends, isn't it? Then we went to go and buy a grill for uh, the backyard. And we were going to make like a little grill area. Like just basically like if you follow my finger, this is like the edge. And then like dig it out like a square or a rectangle so you could put the grill there and like walk in. Super easy. But all of the grills in England are sold out. <laughs> like there's like no, there's like no like good grills. And my dad wanted to buy it for us for like a new home present, even though we got this home in 2015, 16, sorry. But that's what he wanted to get us. And every year we just kind of forget or we go to America. So we don't really like, we're not really here for it. So he's like, go buy a grill now. So we went to go buy the grill and like everything sold out. Like 
only the girls that are like $1,500 are available. And I'm like, we don't grill that much. (laughs) You know, like to be spending that much money on a grill, like, come on. That's a lot of money. So we're waiting for that. Hi again, George. What took me from Toledo to England? So actually... Um, I went from Toledo and then I, uh, I moved to China in Shanghai and then I taught English for a year and I taught art for almost four years. And then David and I met David there. David's from England. And then we decided that we were going to move to England together. So we left I got to Shanghai in March, early March, 2010. And then I met David in February of 2012. And then we got married in July of 2014. And then we applied for visas and visas and visas and like got denied and got denied and like wasted a bunch of money. That's like a really long other story but um yeah so I finally got here in September 2015 and then yeah I've been here ever since so we just go back home really just in the summer to see my family so that's why I'm like super devastated that we can't go um see them this summer we did go for Christmas my grandma wanted us to go And see them all for Christmas because she's moved back to Toledo as well. She used to live in Florida. So we had like the whole family together for Christmas. And that was really nice. But like now that we've already done Christmas there, it's like our turn to do Christmas here. Which means that we're not going to do Christmas there. So we won't see them for a year and a half now. So that's a little bit sad Like if we don't get to go. Believe it or not, I do have the overhead light on, like the big, the big light. It just looks really dark in here. So yeah, I'll be a little bit sad if we don't get to go. I mean, obviously there's bigger problems in the world. Do you know what I mean? So, so as you go to the very tip, they will turn into just straight up um, chain stitches and that's okay. Like, you don't have to be like, oh, we're going to make these really small because we're going to keep them open. Like, you just turn them into chain stitches as they get smaller and smaller. And I did explain in the first video what I'm talking about, how they will turn into chain stitches at the tip. I can do one more. So yeah, that's kind of the shortened, condensed version of how I got here, which is nuts. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Okay, so Wild Salmon Crafts. Can you leave your name on there? Because I'm just going to keep calling you Wild Salmon Crafts. And as a side note, did you guys see that now in your Instagram DMs, it changes? It's not everyone's username anymore. It's now whatever you have written in your first line. So for example, Melissa is crafty is now whatever she has written like in her name section, like of her profile. I think it's just Melissa. So when that changed, I was like, wait, I just spent all this time remembering everyone's usernames and now you're just going to throw your regular names in there? Like, what? So this is what we've got so far. And then I think I'll choose an even lighter color and just whip out this other one real quick and then I'll be all caught up. Katie. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Um, so we've got two kinds of chain stitch here. This is the open chain stitch. 
and you can tell you I went up on one side and down on the other side so it's open and then at the very tip here it's just a regular chain stitch where it makes like almost like a teardrop shape where you come up and down in the same point almost and you make those um, loops like teardrops in in and of each other so let's try one more because why not That's the same color. I want like the same color family, but just like one layer. Ooh, this one might be good. This one's good. Okay, so Casey's just said, do you leave your projects in the hoop from day to day? I've read to take them out, but I am lazy. Um, I think it depends on what you want to do with it in the end. So if you wanted to put this in a picture frame uh, that was like a square or a rectangle, say, you don't want to have these circular indents on your fabric. Um, so I would do whatever work you're going to do and then take it out immediately so that the fabric doesn't like stay creased um, in that. I've done it again. I want four, not three, and I've just done it again. So it doesn't say like, you know, stuck in that creased way. Um, just a minute and I'll show you this little like banner that I made, but I kept the embroidery in the hoop for a really long time because I didn't know what I was gonna do with it. I thought it was just gonna be a hoop, but then I was like, I really don't like this as a hoop, so I'm gonna take it out and make it into a banner. Then when I made it into the banner, I ironed it and ironed it and ironed it. And it's still got that like circle cinch in it or crimp. Kind of want one of those like crimper things, you know, like for your hair. Okay. I'm sure like loads of y'all have already seen this. But it's this one. And you can totally see it's like not dirty. It's just got that crimp all the way around in it. And this is just a white cotton on the front. So I've washed it. I've laid it flat. I've ironed it. I've done like all everything. And for some reason, it still has that in there. So it depends on what you want to do at the very end. Um, I know that a lot of people, they don't know what they want to do with it. You know, so they're like, oh, And then at the end they go, oh, do you know what? I think I'll make a banner out of it. Um, I will say though that you can use the Q-snap frames and they're the PVC, um, you can do like squares or rectangles. It's um, what just depends on whichever ones that you buy. I do have a couple I could show you. Um, but yeah, you could do those instead if you wanted because then they don't have that circle that goes around it. It's quite hot in my house, I'm not gonna lie. So fun fact, I used to get really nervous doing these lives, like really, really, really nervous to where I could only wear like <laughs> shorts and a tank top. This was like in February, 2019. When I did the very first one because I was like, oh my God, what if somebody says something or like, what if people come in that like say rude things or like, I don't know what happens then? I don't know why. It used to really freak me out. And I would just be really nervous the whole time. Like, ooh. Because 
But yeah, here's why I never do lives at night, the nighttime. Because this lighting is so bad. It's bad for your eyes. Yeah, and you know what, if you guys, um, sorry, I was just reading um, the comment. It says, I think those look so different. The chain stitch is such a great idea. So if you've tried the chain, the open chain stitch and you just can't quite get it for some reason, you can always just do a regular chain stitch through there and it will give the same effect. Um, it just won't be very open like this one is where you can see the green through. It'll be more like this at the top where it's completely... Like almost almost solid, but not quite solid. I really want to blow dry these lines off. They're doing my head in. Catching up on yesterday's, the fly stitch is so relaxing. Yeah, I agree. I really like it. And like I said, I usually do it for um, the ones that are next to that with a really long Y instead of doing a really small tacking stitch. Um, I think there's, it's just so, it's like such a nice, such a nice stitch. Can't wait to see the turtle. Okay, so I think you're gonna have to do like a small hoop of just the turtle and then show like a couple different ways because a part of me wants to go like, part of my French, but like balls to the wall, you know? And like give it spots and like do all kinds of stuff for it like it is um, in the drawing. If you guys saw the drawing in the pattern. Yes, Kim, evening stitching. Do you know what we should do, Kim? You should set up your embroidery hoop and I'll set up mine and then, and then come on here and we can both stitch something together. Wouldn't that be so fun? She's like, no, it would not be fun at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think it'd be fun. I bet like a lot of other people would do it as well. I'm going to set it up. If you don't want to, you don't have to, I promise. But I think it'd be so fun. So you could do a live with someone else. So like I'd be on the top and you'd be on the bottom and then we could be just like stitching, stitching away. <laughs> Kim said my internet just cut out. Oh, that was convenient. Did you hear any of what I said at all? I missed it. <laughs> I said, you know, what would be fun is that if I got my embroidery set up and you got your embroidery set up and then one night we came on here and we stitched together. So I'd be like up here and then you would be down here. And we could just like stitch whatever. Like we could stitch the same thing or we can stitch something different. Like, you know, you work on your project and I'll work on my project. And then we can just chat. It can be like a little embroidery club. Oh. Do you know what? Maybe I'll turn off the, because David's upstairs. Normally when I do these, the... David isn't home, so like there's not that much internet. I'm not trying to 
trying to continue. I'm trying to turn it off, man. I turn the music off. David's upstairs. Nervous, but I'd be well up for that. I think it'd be kind of fun. We could do like, I don't know. I mean, I probably would just be stitching. I probably wouldn't be like showing my face. Because it's the end of the day in it. way it's way too it's way too quiet but yeah that's why I think like because okay so one it'd just be fun to chat with someone like because normally with these I'm just like I said talking to myself the whole time Kim says I'm not a talkie stories person but it wouldn't have to be your face it could just it could just be like your embroidery setup and I also said when it got cut out and you didn't hear it. I said, it's totally fine because I'm going to ask some other people if they want to do it too. So if you're like, no, that's okay. I will not take it personally, okay? Okay. Stitch Beach just said, oh my God, it'd be so cool to have an embroidery, embroidery club on Zoom or FaceTime where everyone's stitched together. We can all see each other stitching. Yeah, so that's what I talked with Mary about yesterday. I don't know if Mary's still in here. Um, but I did talk to her about it. It'd be called like the Little Stitch Club. And it'd be like really cute. Good evening, Veronica. Let's see if I can do this last one. I feel like that's a little too light. Maybe I'll do the dark, dark one back there. That's too Christmassy. This is what takes all the time. You know, this is what takes all the time away. Just choosing a freaking color. Yes, step out of your comfort zone. Who better to do it with than me who doesn't care? <laughs> oh, I see the stupidest things on here. Okay, I've gone for super light. I hope it's not a mistake, but we will see. Light on light. I don't know, man. Oh, you had a cheeseburger. Do you know what? I was telling everyone earlier that I really didn't want to cook tonight, so... Um, oh, thank you. So we got McDonald's and we haven't had McDonald's since like a really long time. Like a really, really long time. Like even way before lockdown, I'd say like January or February probably. And then Stitch Beach says, by the way, my name is, is it Aisha or Aisha? Aisha or Aisha? I think I have Aisha in my head because of Below Deck. Oh, do you know what? It might be mine. It might be my internet. Okay, I'll wrap it up here because it seems like everyone's internet is dropping out. I just told David to get off the internet, but I think it's because it's at nighttime. So I'll finish this, just this little one, and then be done. Sorry, guys. Oh, 
that sad? This is why I do it at 10 a.m., okay? Can you guys still see in here? Or not at all? David was upstairs Googling things. But yeah, that's why I like to do it in the morning because I feel like there's less people just in general on the internet. Damn it, David. <laughs> okay, so the music is off. It's raining. David's off the internet. It's just me and you guys. A love story for the ages. Which is perfect because I'm done. Oh, there you go. Lee, come on. Get your act together, okay? All right, so this is what we have. My three little guys are all done. I kind of wish I had a little bit peeking out here. But that's okay. I think it'll be all right. So yeah. So thanks for stitching with me, guys. And I'll see you in the morning. Okay? Have a very, very, very nice Thursday evening. And I'll, we'll talk with you tomorrow. Bye.